Hi there, this is Vector Unit Video 1, and we're going to take a look at some vector operations um, done by hand and using some algebra rather than graphically. So let's take a look and get started. There are basically three different types of operations that we're going to talk about today. The first one um, being addition and subtraction. The second, scalar multiplication. And the last time you worked with scalar multiplication was when you did matrices um, in your Algebra 2 class. Uh, and you'll find the similarity there for this part. And then the dot product, which is um, otherwise known as the inner product. And that's something that is very unique to vectors. So um, addition, subtraction, the scalar multiplication you'll find very familiar, and then the dot product is something very, very unique to our, our vectors. Okay, so addition and subtraction. Um, go ahead, you can kind of just add to your note sheet a little bit there, but it basically I'm saying if I have two vectors, A, B, and C, D, and I want to add them together, that I will have to add the, the horizontal components together, and I will have to add the vertical components together. Um, same thing with subtraction. If I'm subtracting those two vectors, then I'd be subtracting the horizontal components and subtracting the vertical components. So I've laid out these three vectors, and we're actually going to use these three vectors, u, v, and w, on all of the uh, examples here. So you'll notice entire they're the same three vectors, and we're just going to go ahead and continue to use those and try the different operations um, with them. So if I'm going to add u and v, um, your work is not necessarily needed to be shown. Um, however, just be careful so that you're, you're not um, overly ambitious and make some simple calculation errors. But I would be adding here negative 2 plus 4, that's from u and v, comma 1 plus 3. My final answer would be the simplified form of that 2 comma 4. For v minus u, you know, again I'm sticking with those two, I'm going to have to make sure I do this in the correct order, so it is 4 minus negative 2, comma 3 minus 1, so this vector is 6 comma 2. That is the resulting vector. For w plus v, okay, addition does not matter which order you um, add them in, but let's go ahead and stick to w plus v and stay in that order, so 8 plus 4 and then negative 4 plus 3 simplifies to 12 negative 1 as my resulting vector. Okay, uh, and then if I look here with w minus v plus u, we can actually do that all in one string if we'd like. So it is 8 minus 4 plus negative 2 comma negative 4 plus th uh, minus, whoops, that should be minus 3 3 because I'm subtracting um, v and then adding 1 and then we'll simplify that so 8 minus 4 plus a negative 2 is 2 and negative 4 minus negative 3 plus 1 is negative 6 so there was some simple practice with addition and subtraction scalar multiplication um, scalar is the number that is uh, a non-vector number, so it has, uh, it's just a, an amplifier, if you will, just makes it larger or smaller, um, like a stretch or a compression would do, and so k would be my scalar, and scalar multiplication looks more like distribution. So I am distributing that k, um, so k times a and then k times b. So let's just try that with a few of these. Again, I'm using the same vectors we were using before. Let's do 3u. So if I distribute the 3 onto the u, I would get negative 6 comma 3. For negative 2v, again, I'm distributing a negative 2, so the resulting vector is negative 8, negative 6. And lastly, I have 1 half times w. So that would give us 4, negative 2. Scalar multiplication. And the one that uh, you've not seen before, something that cannot really be applied to um, the areas of mathematics that we've covered so far, is the dot product. And the dot product is used to determine the angle between two vectors. Okay, so if you've got two vectors drawn on your graph and we wanted to find the angle that falls between them, we would use the dot product. It also use, use, is used to derive geometric theorems and to solve different physics problems. Um, so when we get to some of our 
application problems, we're going to um, revisit the dot product. And over the next couple days, you'll also see us use the dot product. So today, we are only uh, learning the basics of, you know, just how to, the mechanics of the dot product. Uh, and then we'll get into some more uses for it um, as we go on. So if I have um, the dot product is these are vectors so vector u dot v I'm going to actually multiply the horizontal components and then multiply the vertical components but what's unique is that the result of a dot product is a number it's a scalar it is not a vector so this will just actually turn out to be a simple number when we finish okay so let's try u dot v for this example. So I'm going to then multiply, oops, did I do that? I did that. Get rid of that. So I want to multiply negative 2 times 4 plus 1 times 3. This answer for u dot v is negative 8 plus 3 equals negative 5. So my answer for the dot product is just a number. Let's try v dot w. So this would be 4 times 8 plus 3 times negative 4 v dot w. So I would have 4 times 8 is 32 minus because of the negative here 12 the result is 20 so my dot product is 20. Let's try just one last one let's try u dot w and that would be negative 2 my goodness I keep doing that I'm sorry that would be negative 2 times 8 plus 1 times negative 4 negative 16 minus 4 or negative 20. So these are the dot products. Again, the answer is a scalar. It's a regular number. It is not a vector. If your answer looks like a vector, it's going to be wrong. So um, review these um, simple operations that we worked on here and we'll keep using them throughout class.